Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, we're going to be editing an iPhone image inside of On One Photo Raw 2025. Now, if you would like to pick up a copy of On One Photo Raw 2025, consider using the coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20. It'll save you some money at checkout, and I make a small commission, but that's all at no extra cost to you. It's a win-win, and it greatly helps to support this channel, and I thank everyone who supports me in that way. If you got questions or want to learn more about On One Photo Raw 2025, consider signing up for a one-on-one -on -one coaching call, details, or link is down in the description box below. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer and take a look at this iPhone image. So here is a photo that I took with my iPhone 11 Pro uh, back in 2022. Now, this isn't like some amazing image, but if you are a iPhone uh, user or, you know, any sort of mobile device and you want to edit your photos on one is a fully capable software to do that. And you can see it's in the HEIC format. Uh, you can see that here as well as in the title to the actual file. So first things, I just start off with the Brilliance AI. For anyone who's not familiar, Brilliance AI is the tool that On One came out with to help auto adjust your image. Now for this one, I would probably come over here to the options and I would probably turn this to AI auto. Brilliance AI doesn't do a bad job, but AI auto seems to do a little bit better of a job in my opinion. And what I enjoy about that is this is all non-destructive. You can always come back and re-modify it. Uh, but here we are with the overall look. Now, this says that it was shot at ISO 32 at 3300. Now, I have no idea what that even means in camera speak. Uh, but I can look and see that there's a little bit of noise in this image. So let's see if we can go with a little bit of no noise AI. So we'll go ahead and activate that and let on one think itself through here for a little bit and then see if it does anything that will help us with this image. Okay, so it's loaded in. Let's go ahead and pull this over and see. Yeah, I think it's cleaning up the uh, the image overall. So I'll go ahead and hit apply with it like so and apply that to the image because I do think that that was helpful to the overall look and style of the image. So now we can zoom out and just look at the entire photo. So now that I have essentially my basic edit, so if I turn off the uh, basic edits or the develop module edits, and then I turn them back on, you can see we're starting to move in the right direction, or at least what I think is the right direction. So let's go ahead and hit effects. We'll hit add. And the first thing I want to do is really darken down this arrow. In fact, I don't even think I'll do that in effects. I'll do that with a local adjustment. So we'll just go ahead and hit local. And using the brush tool, all I'm going to do, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to paint this in, like just painting in between the lines. My computer's really thinking hard here. So we'll just go ahead and paint through. And I'm okay if I go a little uh, outside of the lines. I could also use the line mask tool if I was really thinking this through. But it's all right. I'm just going to go ahead and paint this in. There's so many other tools that I could have used to darken this down a little bit. Let me know in the comment section what tool you would have used to darken this down. And, or at least to make the selection to darken it down. And then I need to erase this little edge that is sticking out right here. So just cleaning up a little bit of my paint job. And I think that that's good for what we're trying to do. Uh, and it's already made it darker. I'll just pull down on the blacks to really get a good black point in there. And if I turn this off and turn it back on, you can see it just 
kind of adds in a little bit more uh, contrast, and I could probably even add contrast to it to make it a little bit better. Uh, maybe even throw a little bit of structure in there to help make it pop that much more. And I'm noticing now the tip probably needed to be painted a little bit. So, and then missed a little bit on this edge. But I'm not going to sit here and try to make this perfect because that's not a huge requirement for this particular tutorial. So we'll go ahead and leave that as is. And now we can jump over to the effects and start to stylize the image. So the first thing that I would do here is come over to match color because I think that the colors are okay, but I feel like maybe we can match them to one of the presets. So I'm gonna click on more and then just hover over some of these presets and see which one looks the best for the style that I'm going for. And I think Lisa was actually the best, but you know what? I'm gonna go with this one right here because I think that this is just, it's more fun, all right? At least that's what I believe or what I'm seeing. So now what we wanna do is modify a little bit more of the color. So I think I'm gonna push more of this color into the overall image and play around with the luminosity. Maybe something like this. Uh, and this is all subjective and I'm just having fun. You know, you, you definitely wanna have fun when you are making edits with your image uh, because this photo straight out of camera would have been fine with all the processing that the iPhone does. But, you know, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So next thing that I'll probably do is throw an HDR look on it. Um, or I'm sorry, I think I'm going to throw a grunge look. Not that the HDR look uh, didn't look good. I just think that the grunge look would be more fun because I can now throw in some film grain and kind of make this look filmic. Uh, you know, I could pull the detail down and that's kind of fun. Or I could pull the detail up and really make this look kind of epic. Uh, and I don't know if epic is the right word, but that's the word I'm going to stick with. And I'll probably just pull the amount down so it's not like over the top on here. And then maybe even blend it by pulling the opacity down. So let's turn that off, turn it back on. It's not as aggressive as I would like it to be. So pull up on the opacity, turn it off and turn it back on. And I think that that looks pretty good so far. So the last thing that I would probably do to this image is, you know, I wonder what a sunshine filter would look like on here. Or let's go split tone. Yeah, split tone. I know that we've already done so much of the color modification, and usually you don't want to add more color uh, grading tools when you've already done one color grading tool. Uh, but... I'm just having fun with this image, like I mentioned. So let's click Oats because that follows alongside our color scheme. And I'm just going to pull it to the right, I think is probably the best. And let's increase this top color and maybe even increase this shadow color. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And we'll just pull down on the opacity of this and it gives it like this uh warm like old time look and vibe i really do like that i like i like both of them right i could do a snapshot and go with both of these but i think that this would be my final color adjustment and then i would probably do something like this and i know i haven't done it yet uh, i would add in a masking bug for linear left, click here, oh, meant linear right, and then I would just fade this into the overall image. So that way the attention does come to the main subject here because obviously the trees are not the main subject. This sign over here is the main subject. 
So I want to bring the attention to that. And I may even add in, you know, I wonder if I could turn this to a reflected gradient. And then I would just pull this piece over to this side like so. So now it's fading in that way. And I need to pull this down, pull that up, and then fade this like that. So now, and that might be too much of a fade happening on just this one side. So let me just pull this back a little bit more like that. And now I like what's happening with the light overall in the image. It just gives that focus right here down the center of the tree onto the sign. So that's kind of what I would go with. Let's go ahead and hold down the backslash key. So this is what I came into on one photo raw with obviously straight out of the camera phone. And then with a little bit of editing, this is what I was able to get to. Hopefully you found some value in today's content. If you did smash that like button, just tells YouTube that this is a video that should go in front of more people. And it really does help me continue to grow and get the message out there. If you want to pick up on one photo raw or again, anything over at the on one store, consider using my coupon code freewell photos 20. If you want to learn more about on one photo raw, you can do one of two things or both. You can go down to the description box and click the link, sign up for a one on one coaching call where I will help you develop a custom workflow to use on one photo raw for your own projects, assignments and your own hobbies. Or you can click the video that's on the screen now and watch some more videos right here on YouTube. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.